Ladies, we're a local ministry here today to encourage you to do the right thing. And if you're pregnant, not to take your child's life. If you have needs that will lead you here, our ministry will help meet those needs. We want to encourage you not to leave here having killed your child. One thing they won't tell you inside, but you can look on your phone and see if this is true. Your child's heart began to beat about 22 days after conception. Measurable brain waves by about five weeks into your pregnancy. That means your child's alive just like you, created in God's image and likeness, and God's word is very clear. He said, you shall not murder. And he goes on to say in Proverbs chapter 6 that he hates hands that shed innocent blood. Now miss, as you walk in there, think about your child. Is that child innocent? Surely you'd have to say your baby's the most innocent of all. So I want to encourage you not to take your child's life today. Do know that the Bible says that all of us will stand before a holy God and have to give answer for everything we've done. It's appointed unto every man and woman once to die, and after that, the judgment. Whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not, God's word remains true, and we remain guilty. Guilty. Unless we turn from our rebellion against God, repent of our sins. And repentance doesn't start by lining up to have your child killed. Or working at an abortion clinic. Praying on innocent, or praying on women and innocent children. So this morning we're here to call you to repent, to turn from even the rebellious thought that you would kill your child. Let's be real. The very fact that you decided that you would come to a place and pay a stranger to expose you and murder your son or daughter is a grievous sin against God. So right up front, let's deal with that. And I want to encourage you to repent of that even thought. But if you're pressured... If someone's trying to get you to do something you don't want to do, we want to encourage you to come talk with us because our ministry will stand with you and meet whatever need you have to help you. But at the end of the day, your child does not have to end up in a garbage can, ripped apart. At the end of the day, you can go home knowing you did what was right. Even if it's hard and not convenient, you can do what is right. And sir, if that's your child, I want to encourage you to be a man and not let another man kill your son or daughter this morning. It's never right. No justification to kill your child. There is help available in this. If you feel pressured into taking your child's life, if you don't have a husband or a boyfriend who will do the right thing and protect you, and protect your child, we'll walk with you. We'll help you. Don't feel pressured into murdering your own child today.